We praise the Lord. Ah, what a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him, heaven and earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, is that God we serve. I want to say happy holidays to everybody. I want to thank those of you who have sent to my gold for me. Ah, young man sent to my cash app. Brother Daniel Bello, thank you so much. And to all those who sent to my gold for me and cash app, uh, Flame of Fire 8, under Pastor Warren Adams. My gold for me is Holy and Heavenly Flame of Fire Miracle Church Ministry, Street Pastor Preacher Warren, the missionary Priscilla Lady Adams. I want to thank God for all of you right now. Amen. We're going into the New Year's. I believe in 2024, God is going to give you more. Ah, praise be the name of Jesus Christ. I want to talk about the meaning of holidays. We're in the holiday season right now, and the Lord gave me a special message. First of all, what is a holiday? What do holiday really mean? Very simple. A holiday of festivity, a recreation, where no one works. It's a vacation that you take to celebrate a holy day, even though I don't believe every holiday is holy. I definitely don't celebrate Halloween. I can know America cracks me up sometimes because it's really somehow America can celebrate the Devil's Day, Halloween. And don't get me wrong, I used to celebrate Halloween when I was in third grade. I used to wear a little Scooby-Doo costume. We didn't know that it was pagan. But as I begin to grow older, God began to show me that it's pagan. But anyway, America cracks me up. It's really somehow folk can wear a witch's costume, Count Dracula costume, werewolf costume, celebrate all these monsters and Jason from 5 to 13 and Freddy Cougar. And, and then when Christmas time come, then we get real holy. There's a season to be jolly. Fa -la 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 -la. Now, now we want to celebrate the birth of Jesus after we get celebrated the devil's holiday. So <laughs> America cracks me up. I want to help you out. Holiday, we know is spelled H-O-L-I-D, very simple, H-O-L-I-D-A-Y. So, what is a holiday? You want a holiday, you spend holidays in a Pacific place. Uh, the meaning of holiday, we're going to talk about this right now. The word holiday comes from the old English word holiday, which is spelled H A. L-I-G-D-A-E-G. -E holy, holy day. Okay? The word originally refers only to a special religious day. Notice it didn't say holy day on that because every holiday I don't believe is holy. The word holiday has different Continations and different regions. Now, holiday, the, the best holiday that's celebrated is Christmas. We, we in the Christmas season. This is season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Well, you got the Holy Ghost, God can make you jolly every day. But, but as I taught in the past, there's a lot of pagan roots in Christmas, Christmas trees. Uh, spelled the word Christmas. It's spelled C-H-R-I-S-T, M-A-S. Take the M-A-S off, you got Christ. So if Christmas is about the birth of Jesus Christ, why don't we say Christ must? Our Christ is a must. Good question, right? But they say Christmas. Who in the world is Chris? Well, it's talking about Chris Kringle. Are we talking about that? Who is Chris Kringle? Uh, there's some studies that St. Nicholas was actually real. That's where Santa Claus came from, except they changed it up and made him magical. But the real one, St. Nicholas, was really a bishop. Six years ago, he was not magical. You know, he gave gold to poor children. Gave gold, wow, to poor children. He helped three prostitutes out of the lifestyle of prostitution. He gave different gifts. Wow, he was a saint. That's why they call him St. Nicholas. So, they get some, took it out of proportion. They made it magical, and they put Santa Claus in there, which I taught Santa Claus means Satan want to grip you in his claws because Santa Claus is connected with Satan. 
It's all connected with the worship of Saturn, where they worship these false gods. Uh, they worship Molech. Where they offer little children to a statue named Molech and Saturn, which is spelled S-A-T-U-R-N. And Molech is spelled M-O-L-C-H, which speaks about it in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 20. Uh, they offered little children to these false gods and killed innocent little babies and sacrificed innocent blood. It was called Shanalia at the time. And to the Emperor Constantine chose the date December 25th was he was the first Christian Roman Emperor to take away for the pagan worship. Even though we don't really know when Jesus was actually born because the Bible never said he was born on December 25th. He might have been born in February or September. But anyway, St. Nicholas had his celebrations of God on December, 20, on December 6th. They all came together on a certain day and began to have holy celebrations. Anyway, they took it from there and made something called Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming to town. And we used to like to watch Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Y'all remember that, right? Uh, Y'all remember... Uh, Y'all can remember Fred Astier was the one who narrated <laughs> uh, Santa Claus is coming to town and they had Jimmy Durante. He had the big nose back then. Nothing wrong with that. God gave him that nose. Uh, he narrated the cartoon Frosty the Snowman. And you already know that Fred Astier, he was a, a tap dancer back in the days of Sammy Day Davis Jr. Y'all didn't realize that Sammy Davis Jr. was also a Satanist. He was with Antar LeVay, who started the devil worshiping satanic church. Michael Jackson said he used to like Fred Astaire. We know Michael Jackson did the moonwalk, but he was not walking for Jesus. The moonwalk was not of God. Okay, he made a pact with the devil too. But anyway, that's a different subject. I used to like to watch Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Santa Claus was coming to town. We had our childhood memories back then. Me and my wife laid with Silva just watching some of it last night. You know, when you're children, you don't see certain things. Now, as you begin to grow older, God begin to show you certain things when you're close to God. God begin to show us there was magic in those Muppet Christmas shows. It was magic, demonic symbols. It was witches and warlocks. Uh-oh, preach Holy Ghost. It was witches and warlocks. It was witches and warlocks who raised Santa Claus. And then uh, Abiding Light who came to my YouTube, she made a great point. She said it was, she studied on there. It was a warlock who gave Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, had a little shiny nose. It was a warlock who gave him that shiny nose. Uh-oh. And we already know that God is against warlocks. Warlocks are the male version of witches. God speaks against witches in the book of Exodus chapter number 22 verse 18 Leviticus chapter 19 verse 31 God said regard not them Oh lordy 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 Who have familiar spirits Neither seek Out the wizards Whoa We know Harry Potter is a wizard But God is against wizards He said for I am And the Lord your God He said thou shalt not have no other God before me so we used to like to watch those cartoons and Frosty the Snowman. We didn't realize there was demonic symbols in those cartoons. We were little kids. But as we begin to go over, the Bible declares in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 that my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. God began to show us magic was in that stuff. We already know God is against magic. They made Santa Claus to be magical. Even though St. Nicholas was not magical. They got Santa Claus from St. Nicholas. Can it fit it? The bishop. God bless you, man of God. Happy to see you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Say it on the microphone, hallelujah, before you go. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, brother. God bless you, man of God. Somebody not ashamed to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have a great day, my brother. Woo! When the praises go up, the blessings will come down. Woo! And Santa Claus cannot do it for us, but Jesus can do it. Yeshua HaMasiah. We are believers. Hallelujah. So we grew up on that stuff. Magic was all in it. It was witches and warlocks who raised Santa Claus. All witchcraft magic. And, and Jesus doesn't 
use magic. His power is greater than magic. Magic creates yokes, but it's the anointing that breaks the yokes. Oh, hallelujah. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by the might of men, it's not by the power of men, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord, the power of the Holy Ghost, out of my Mosata. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. What are you getting at, preacher? What? There are a lot of churches who got Christmas trees, which I'm against Christmas trees, but everyone doesn't see Christmas trees as being pagan. Many people see Christmas trees as the tree of life. They're celebrating Adam and Eve. The tree of life. We all know Adam and Eve sinned against God in the Garden of Eden, and they was put out of the Garden of Eden. I believe the rest of their life, they live a life of holiness after they ask God forgiveness and repent it. But a lot of people see Christmas trees as a tree of life. They don't see it as pagan. According to Jeremiah chapter number 10, Isaiah chapter number 40, start from verse number 17, and read the book of Saint, i not Saint, Jeremiah chapter number 17, Talks against Christmas trees, although the word Christmas is not there, but it's talking about the trees which are pagan. Everyone doesn't always see it the way we see it. Everyone is not there yet. It doesn't mean you're not saved. It doesn't mean that you don't love Jesus. I mean, I wouldn't go to somebody's church and the pastor have a Christmas tree in their church. I wouldn't go in there and start screaming at the pastor. Or oh, you going to hell because you got Christmas trees. It's out of worship. Maybe he doesn't know. Everyone is not there yet. It doesn't mean he's not a man of God. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love Jesus. It's, a, it's that everyone doesn't see Christmas trees as being pagan. So I wouldn't go around screaming at people because they have Christmas trees because everyone doesn't see Christmas trees as being pagan. A lot of folks just don't know. They can love Jesus, but just don't know. That's why I'm here to give you some knowledge. What do you mean, preacher? Why? Well, let's talk about the Christmas trees. You say everyone doesn't see Christmas trees as being pagan. Even though we know that it started with the worship of Saturn. They had festivals. Saturnalia. They were worshiping Molak centuries ago. Like I just taught a couple of seconds ago. We're going to talk about where these Christmas trees really, really came from. And how people view Christmas trees. A lot of the Catholics, just like a lot of the Catholics, believe in the worship of Mary. How they pray to Mary, which we don't, I don't pray to Mary. Catholic means universal. Now we know the gospel is universal. We know that there are a lot of Catholics who claim to be Christians. But every Christian is not a Roman Catholic. You understand me so far? So, I'm an apostolic and Pentecostal Christian. A lot of people may say uh, that the word Christian is not in the Bible. Where is in the book of Acts, chapter number 11, verse number 26, the word Christian is in the Bible. A lot of people say Christian is not in the Bible. But it is. Even in 2 Peter, Peter talked about if you suffer as a Christian, don't be ashamed. To suffer as a Christian. What he said, let not a man suffer as a busybody. He said, but you suffer as a Christian, don't be ashamed. Because they that live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. But I'm stopped by to tell you that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. So, anyway, every Christian is not a Roman Catholic. And I believe in the Christmas trees and the Roman Catholic churches. But you don't realize that there's Masonic symbols on those Christmas trees. Notice the Christmas tree is shaped like a pyramid. So there are Egyptian roots that is attached to the Christmas trees. You know, Egypt is in Africa. God was against Egypt. And they was worshiping idols on the dollar bill. They had the pyramid on the dollar bill. You get all C and I which is not God's eye. The all-seeing eye represents psychic, divination spirit. And underneath the pyramid, pyramid, on the back of the dollar bill, you'll see neuros auto which means new world order. 
That's talking about the one man ruler, the Antichrist. That's all connected to the Freemasons. The Christmas tree is shaped like a pyramid. But everyone doesn't see the Christmas tree as being idol worship. Allow them to see it as a tree of life. Everyone doesn't, everyone is not always there. So that's why I'm patient with certain people. Doesn't mean you're not saved. Several of us has gathered together on a Saturday afternoon in early December to decorate the church for Christmas. We put up lights, tinsel, red, green, ribbons, pointy stuff, the star and the crowning glory. It's all beautiful Christmas tree right up in front of the sanctuary to the left of the platform. They use all white lights and wrap it with silver and gold ribbons. But Allah them see it as a tree of life. They celebrate Adam and Eve. Everyone doesn't see it as pagan. Everyone doesn't see it as an idol. Allah them by celebrating the sins of Adam. Why you want to celebrate the sins of Adam and Eve when they were disobedient? We want to celebrate that Jesus is our redeemer who came to redeem us from our sins. Jesus came as Adam II. We believe that Mary is Eve, modern day Eve. Adam and Eve was the one who sinned against God. But it's taught that Jesus is Adam II. According to 2 Corinthians chapter number 15, and a lot of and many people believe that Mary is spiritual Eve because of her obedience to God. But praise the Lord, my brother. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you and your family. But the Bible declares in Jeremiah chapter number 10, read it, for the customs, for the customs of the people. My furniture, for one cut as a tree from the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the ax, and decorate with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it will not topple. They're talking about the Christmas trees. Salam so got this in the church. Alam don't see Christmas trees as idol tree, but it is according to 1 Corinthians chapter number 6 and verse 9 and verse 10. The Bible said that idol tree, idol latest, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But everyone doesn't see it that way. Read the book. I don't think that is exactly what Jeremiah chapter number 10, verse 3 to verse 4. Some people say this talking about. However, if you look at the surrounding context, it appears that after the tree is cut down, it is carved into a shape, and then gold and silver is hammered onto it. What Jeremiah was talking about was really talking about the decorations of the Christmas trees. The book of Jeremiah chapter number 17, Isaiah 2. All pagan worship, where they honor their false god Nimrod. They was honoring Nimrod, a false god. Nimrod actually exists. Nimrod was the one who started idol worship. Nimrod. And his name was reincarnated into Tammuz, which is spelled T A M M U Z. So I just want to give you some knowledge and love. Because everyone doesn't look at the Christmas tree as being an idol. I love Times Square Church. That's one of my favorite churches. They have Christmas trees in there. But I know they saved. I know they loved Jesus. A lot of them don't look at it as idol worship the way we would look at it as idol worship. Because everyone is not there yet. There are people who are still learning. We are still learning. I didn't know that Santa Claus was Satan. We just like the big fat belly man. And so God began to show us. You ain't never heard Santa Claus even mention Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, somebody. Ah, uh, there's a lot of churches who got Christmas trees. Who doesn't look at Christmas trees as being idol worship? I like the 700 Club. Me and my wife was watching the 700 Club yesterday. Now, I know the 700 Club. They're saved. They have the Holy Ghost. They love Jesus. You should love Pat Robinson, who God took home to be with the Lord. Pat Robinson used to be a Freemason, along with Billy Graham. I don't know if Reverend Billy Graham ever came out the Freemasons. Even though I don't see 
the word Reverend in the Bible in the New Testament. I believe it's somewhere in songs. He was an evangelist. But Pat Robinson was a Freemason. But I believe he loved the Lord. Maybe he didn't realize that being a Freemason was wrong. My grandfather was one. Thank God my grandmother talked him out of it. Thank God he listened. There are those who've been deceived and deceiving. But when you love Jesus, Jesus said, there are sheep that is not of his soul. When you love Jesus, he will show you right from wrong. What you don't know, he'll teach you. If you have a listening ear. That's why Jesus told the church, he that has an ear to hear. Let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Now everyone is not receptive to this teaching. There's those who want to stay with traditions. Amen. But wherever tradition that's against God, that I'm against it. That I won't celebrate with trees. But there's those who look at it as a tree of life. But going back to Pat Robinson, later on down to the years, God began to show Pat Robinson that the Freemason is demonic. It's satanic. So he got out of it because he really loved Jesus. So I know the 700 Club. I love the 700 Club. The son took over doing such a wonderful job. There was a young man who was dead for 90 minutes, a little baby, and Jesus brought him back to life. God is still working miracles and ministries. Now they had a Christmas tree up. Maybe they don't see it as being idol worship. They may see it as a tree of life. That's how many people view Christmas trees as a tree of life that was in the Garden of Eden. There's those who celebrate Adam and Eve, but we're not supposed to celebrate Adam and Eve. We're supposed to celebrate Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. I don't celebrate sin. I celebrate Jesus who came to redeem us from our sins, who came as Adam the second. So we got to be very careful because there's a, there is a Masonic spirit in the Christmas trees. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to teach you in love. That a lot of you don't see. Look at the Christmas tree. It's shaped like a pyramid. It has Egyptian roots. Whoa. Preach Holy Ghost. Ah, I feel Jesus. Like I said a couple minutes ago, that God was against Egypt in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 30. Because they was doing idol worship. Zephaniah chapter number 2, verse number 12. I read the book of Zechariah as well. God turned the Ethiopians unto the swords. Ethiopia is in Africa. Egypt is in Africa. They worship false gods. They worship Egyptian gods. So we know those Christmas trees was all connected to Egyptian roots. They was worshiping statues and doing idol worship. All connected to Nimrod, Siren, and Molech. When you're six old child, like I talked before, on Santa Claus' lap, what it represents is when they used to offer up little babies to the statue named Molech. Molech is connected to Siren. All false gods, all Egyptian gods, which is all connected to the Christmas trees, which is pagan and idol worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone doesn't always know it. So I'm not going to get mad at you for it. We didn't know. So I wouldn't go in somebody's church who got a Christmas tree and go screaming at the pastor. Well, you going to hell and you doing idol worship. Maybe he don't know. Let's pray for the pastor. Doesn't mean you don't love Jesus. It's that we are still learning. Tell someone we're still learning. Oh, there's high heights and deeper depths in God's. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ain't nothing wrong with exchanging gifts. But make sure you celebrate Jesus who was born in Bethlehem. The city of David. Christ the Lord. What are you saying, preacher Warren? Holiday is a time where people are celebrating. Was vacation. The schools are closed. People are going on trips. But every holiday is not of God. Like Halloween. I wouldn't celebrate Halloween no more because that's the devil's day. Everyone don't see Christmas as being the pagan day. Whoa! But you got to be very careful because if Christmas 
it's about the birth of Jesus, then we should be saying Christmas. Uh, Christ is a must, not Christmas. So where did Chris come from? Chris is talking about Chris Kringle. Oh, hallelujah. And yet St. Nicholas, they got Santa Claus from St. Nicholas, but St. Nicholas was a bishop. He was a saint that went around giving gold to poor people. That's wonderful. He helped th three prostitutes out the life of prostitution. He went around giving gifts, not just toys. But they took it and made it magical. And we know that God is against magic. So what they did, they kind of fitted St. Nicholas, who is a bishop, who is of God, and made it satanic. Santa Claus is a demon by the name of Odin, which is spelled O-D, preach Holy Ghost, O-D-I-N. That's the false god that's in the Marvel comic books for she worshiping God. That's wonderful. She crossed the street worshiping the Lord. That's beautiful. Oh. So Santa Claus is really your demon by the name of Odin. Odin is a false god that represents death and war. Jesus is not death. Jesus said, I, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I feel like preaching. He said, I, and the resurrection and the life. Though he was dead, yet shall he live. And he that believes in me shall never die. Oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Not Santa Claus, not Jack Frost, not Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. But it's Jesus. St. John chapter 14, verse number 6. Ha, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. He is the one who gives the joy. So what you're saying, preacher Warren, around the holiday, get saved on the holidays. Santa Claus can't save you. Frosty the snowman cannot save you. I do I used to like Frosty the snowman growing up. But he can't save you. But it's Jesus who can save us. God can save a drug addict. Ha! And get him out the attic. Hallelujah. And make him a man of God. God can save a prostitute. Ha! And make her a prophetess. Ha. Now she can say, look where the Lord has brought me from. God can save a drug dealer if you call on the faith healer whoa lordy the faith healer is jesus not santa claus not chris kringle come on somebody thank you jesus not the pyramid not the freemason sign hallelujah because freemasons are connected to balfamet come on balfamet is a demon who looks like a goat that's in the triangle. Gotta be careful. Hallelujah. A lot of devil worshipers are worshiping Baphomet. And in Hollywood, they made a pact with the devil for fame and fortune. But Jesus said, what profits a man? Oh, Lordy. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. And go to verse 37. What profits a man? If you gain the whole world and lose his soul, I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with having gold, but gold will get old. But Jesus will never grow old. He's a saint. I feel like preaching yesterday, today, and forever. He said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my words, my words, it's going to live forever. Hallelujah. So on the holiday, let's get saved. On the holidays, saved from sin. Let's get saved. During the holidays, hallelujah. He can deliver you from drugs. He can deliver you from alcohol because he loves you. Now we can love one another. Hallelujah. Don't got to take no drug overdose. All we need is a Holy Ghost. Oh. 
Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now let's bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in our mouth. Come on, somebody. Tell someone, let's get saved on the holidays and get saved after the holidays. Because tomorrow, oh, Lordy, oh, Lord, it's not promised to you or me. Thank you, Jesus. But God gave me a revelation. There's a difference between a holiday and the Holy Spirit. Even though Christmas is viewed as a holy day, because we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. But let me break it down right now. A lot of folk after the holiday go right back into sin on New Year's Day. How can you say you love Jesus on December 25th? Even though the December 25th is not in the Bible. And then you're going back to celebrating Halloween, which is the devil's day. So when you got the Holy Spirit, you don't just love each other only on a holiday. Hallelujah. But you love each other every day. Not just once a year. When you got the Holy Ghost, you love each other every day. You check on your family members every month. See the difference? Maybe you got a holiday ghost, but not the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Maybe you got a holiday spirit, but not the Holy Spirit. Ah, come on, somebody. When you got the Holy Spirit, you're not just jolly. Only on December 25th. When you got the Holy Ghost, you're jolly every week. Even when you got no money in the bank, he'll still give you joy. Because you know ha, that God will take care of you. When you got no food in the refrigerator, God is better than a smooth operator. When you're seeking first ha, the kingdom of God, I feel like preaching right now. And all his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto you. When you put God first, not just a holiday ghost, not just a holiday spirit. So when you're in the holiday spirit, that you caught up into just giving gifts and buying toys and having Christmas trees. It doesn't mean that you got Jesus in your heart. Oh, come on, somebody. What did Jesus say? In the book of Matthew, chapter number 15, he quoted what the prophet Isaiah said. He said, this, these people honor me with their lips and draw nigh unto me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me and do worship me in vain teaching of doctrines, of the commandments, of the traditions of men. So when well, you got the Holy Spirit, you love each other every day, not just only on a holiday. Hallelujah. You have love for each other all year round. You're not a racist because God doesn't hate skin complexion. God hates our wicked ways. Every race has sinned against God. I have sinned against God. But he said, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lord. I feel like preaching. Ah, every one of you. Ha. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. For the remissions of sins. And he shall. He shall. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Not Santa Claus. Not Chris Kringle. Not Jack Frost. Not firstly the snowman, God who created the snow, hallelujah, who came in the human form as Jesus of Nazareth in the beginning ha, was the word, hallelujah, hallelujah, and the word was with God, St. John chapter 1, and the word was God, hallelujah, verse 10 said, ha, and the word, the world was made by him, who made the world? It was God in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. Go back to St. John, chapter number one, verse 14. It said, the word was made flesh. Isaiah spoke about Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Isaiah chapter nine, verse six, he said, he shall be called the wonderful counselor, 
Ah, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Can I preach? The everlasting Father. The mighty God. The mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The King of Kings. Hallelujah. The Lord of Lords. Lily of the Valley. Bright in the morning star. Oh, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel Jesus right now here. Not magic. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Not by magic. Oh, come on, come on. A lot of folk using magic. It's not by magic. Because magic is witchcraft. It's of the devil. But it's by the Holy Spirit. God can save a drug addict and get him out the attic. That's the best gift right there. God can save a drug dealer, what they call on the faith healer, Yahshua HaMessiah. You don't have to pay no thousand dollars for that. Jesus already paid the price on the tree so you don't have to take no LSD. Woo! Hallelujah! He can sex you free. Hallelujah! Now he gives you power to stay free. And who the Son set free, he's free indeed. Now you can rejoice that Jesus was not only born in Bethlehem, but he was born in your life. He was born in my life. When we was born again, Jesus said, in St. John chapter 3, except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. On the holidays, let's get saved and get saved. And God spare your life after the holidays. So what I hate about when Christmas is over with. It's like folks stop loving each other. <laughs> Around Christmas, somebody said, well, don't rob him. It's Christmas. Oh, let's not lie. It's Christmas. We should not be lying, period. We should not be robbing nobody, period. It should be an ongoing thing. See, the Holy Ghost brings revival. What the world needs is a revival. Not no once a year revival. What the world needs is a Holy Ghost revival. So when the holiday ends, Jesus don't end. Santa Claus only come once a year, but Jesus come every day. Shh. Hallelujah. Every day with Jesus. It gets sweeter than the day before. Santa Claus only come once a year. But Jesus, Jesus comes every day, not just once a year. Hallelujah. He gives you joy, unspeakable joy. Joy, joy, joy. I feel Jesus right now. Everyone around this holiday doesn't have a family. You might be depressed. You might be suicidal. You may be depressed, but Jesus can give you rest. Santa Claus cannot do that. Oh, he gives us toys. Jesus Christ can give you more than toys. He gave his life. Woo! I said he gave his life on the cross, on the tree of Calvary. He gave his life for you and me. They hung in high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head. For me and you, he died. That was love. Love lifted me. Love lifted you. Thank you, Jesus. It was amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved the wrecks like you and me. Once was lost, but now we found. You used to be blind, but now we see. God can give you the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Love each other, not just on your own Christmas. Love each other every day. They talk about Christmas. Who in the world is Chris? You should be saying Christ must. Our Christ is a must. If Christmas is about Christ, you're talking about the Antichrist. Come on. We say Christmas to talk about Chris Kringle. We go into the New Year's. I know they had their happy baby New Year on that month at Christmas. So I used to love that when we was kids. <laughs> But he was raised by witches and warlocks. It was witchcraft all in that movie. 
God doesn't work with the witchcraft. God is against witchcraft and magic. Many don't realize it wasn't a happy day for black African Americans on New Year's Eve because they knew that their families was going to be sold into slavery on January 1st. Many of you didn't realize that. It was called a hiring day. It's our watch night started. Still celebrate, still praise the Lord on New Year's Eve. But I want to get, I want to get some knowledge to those of you who don't know. It wasn't a happy time on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day for black African Americans back in slavery. They were sad on New Year's Eve because they knew that their families were going to be split apart on January 1st. Slaves were sawn into slavery on New Year's Day. Many of you didn't realize that. It was called hiring day. It wasn't a, a good day for black African Americans back in the days of slavery. But I hear the Lord say, I can set you free. Hallelujah. Jesus will deliver you out of slavery. He'll set you free from sin. And who the Son set free. He's free indeed. God bless you. I know somebody said, Preacher Warren, you should not be preaching with your head covered. Well, I'm outside. It's cold right now. But the Bible said not to minister with your head covered. In Corinthians chapter number 11, it said, we're not supposed to prophesy. I pray with our head covered. I'm not prophesying. I'm preaching. Prophecy is for telling, which is spelled F-O-R-E. T-E-L-L-I-N-G When you preach, we are proclaiming the gospel, the word of God That's called forth telling Which is spelled F-O-R-T-H T-E-L-L-I-N-G Jesus told his disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel To every creature He didn't say prophesy the gospel Praise the Lord So right now I'm preaching the gospel now, I don't preach for no money So this preacher, you don't gotta hate I ain't got no collection breaks. You don't got to pay no thousand dollars for salvation. Jesus already paid the price. Woo! Hallelujah. Not Santa Claus. Santa Claus never even showed up. I looked for Santa Claus to come in the sky. He wasn't there. But Jesus was there. Shh. Amen. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. I said Jesus was there. And one day, Jesus is coming again. Hallelujah. I want to be ready. When he comes back, he's coming back at an hour that you think not. Be ready, my people. Be ready. Believe in him. You shall never die. He'll give you eternal life. So thank you, my YouTube viewers, for praying for me and my wife, Lady Priscilla. Adams, we wish you all our love. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you have left. I believe. I know in my heart. Uh, a young man came to me the other day. He said, Preacher Warren, your prophecy came to pass. I said, to God be the glory. For we getting healed and getting miracles here in New Jersey. But I believe in 2024, 20, God is going to bless us with more. But make sure, keep your eyes on the prize. Come on, tell somebody. Tell somebody in YouTube land. Keep your eyes on the prize. Let's get ready to pray. Now I can take my hat off. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we come before you right now, those who want to be saved, just say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. I believe Jesus Christ that you was crucified and God has raised you from the dead I want to be saved I confess in my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that you was crucified and God has raised you from the dead I want to be saved I stop my church I'm going to be baptizing people in Jesus name one Lord and one faith and one baptism God loves you today praise the Lord repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and for those who believe in Christmas trees that is not pagan pray about it it don't mean you're not saved 
it don't mean that you don't love Jesus. A lot of things we didn't know growing up. And I'm still learning. And we can learn from each other. But let's teach other, let's teach each other in love. In love. Well, I preach the truth. I preach it in love. And not to hurt nobody. But I do it in love. Cause we, we can learn from each other. We can teach each other. That's what the word teach means. Teach each. Preach means to preach to reach each. Tell someone, thank God for God's holy word. We love you. We'll see you again. God.